Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and welcome to episode 7 on reasons for failing the driving test. And in this video we are talking about traffic light. Many learners, they fail the driving test for responding incorrectly on traffic lights. So in this video I will be giving you the reasons why learners are failing on traffic lights. Hopefully after watching this video you won't be failing on traffic lights. Let's start the lesson. So imagine this is the traffic light. These are the lights and you are approaching this way. Okay. If it's red, you stop behind the stop line. Simple. Make sure you stop behind the stop line, not on the stop line. Many learners, they stop on the stop line. Also, many learners, even if it's red, they try to proceed. So make sure if it's red, stop behind the stop line. That's number one. Number two, if it's green and there's a car coming here, what do you do? You go halfway and you stop here. Okay? You stop here for this car while it is green. When they go, you proceed. Many learners, one, they don't go to the middle. They stay behind the line. You will fail your test for that. Two, they go to the middle and while they were waiting, the traffic light becomes red and now they don't proceed anymore. They stay where they are. Make sure if you've already crossed the line and you are waiting for this car, when this car is gone, even if it goes to red, you must proceed because you are not behind the stop line. This stop line and this traffic light is not for you anymore because you went there while it was green. Now it is red while you are in the middle. You should go because you are blocking the road. The other problem is many learners, when the traffic light is green and there is a car in front goes to the middle, you are behind them. If you feel you have the space to go behind, and you will pass the stop line, then you should go and stop behind that car. If you feel there is no space, then you stop behind the stop line. Okay? When they go, if it's green, then you go. If it's red, you stay behind because you are behind the stop line. Okay? Now let me repeat that again. If there is a car already waiting while it is green, now it is your choice to go behind this car. You only go behind them if the space is there for you to go. If there is no space, stop behind the stop line. If there is a space, go there. If you go there and it's red, when they go, you should be going as well. If you stop behind the stop line and now it goes to red after green, you stop because you are still behind the stop line. I hope this is clear for you. The other problem is there could be another stop line here. And this part is for cyclists. So when you approach the traffic light and it's red, make sure you stop behind here. Don't go there because this area is not for you. It's for cyclists. Many learners, they go and stop there and they will fail the test for that. Okay? So if there's a stop line here, cyclist, you stop behind the cyclist. Don't go there. You only go there if there is no area for cyclists. The other problem when they're waiting in the middle is when you are waiting here to go right, for this car make sure you don't go too much many learners they end up going too much make sure you stop halfway so then you want to go right if this car wants to go right they have this space if you go too much then you are blocking the junction okay you only go half of the junction because the other half is for the other side okay many learners they end up going too much and wait around here that's too much okay so these are the reasons why the learners are failing on traffic light. I hope this video helps and I hope it makes it clear. Okay, that's it for this video and I hope this video helps. And if there is something you need help or you have a question, please do make a comment and I will try to answer to help you on that. Also, I am helping learners on other platforms like TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. If you want to follow us on those platforms, make sure you do. I will leave a link on the description for you to follow us on those platforms. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.